Good morning, children. Today, we're going to have the story of a woman called Ruth. Now then, her mother-in-law was Naomi, and Naomi was lonely because her husband was dead. So were her two sons, and she was living in a country that was far from home with her son's widows, Orpah and Ruth. I'm going home, said Naomi to her daughters-in-law one day, back to my own country, back to Bethlehem, where I belong. You must stay here. I'll miss you, but this is your country, not mine. Naomi expected Orpah and Ruth to kiss her and hug her and wave goodbye. And that's just what Orpah did. But Ruth did something different. She kissed Naomi and she hugged Naomi and then she said, I'm coming with you. Why? asked Naomi. Why leave your people and your home to travel to a place you do not know? Here you have a chance of finding another husband, but I can't give you one. But no matter what Naomi said, Ruth would not change her mind. She cared for Naomi and wanted to make sure that she returned home safe and sound. I'm going with you, she said, and that's all there is to it. From now on, your people will be my people and your God will be my God. So Naomi and Ruth went to Bethlehem. And while Naomi greeted her relatives, Ruth went off to find a job. But that was hard because she came from a different country. So she ended up gathering bits of barley in a field that belonged to a man named Boaz. Bits that were left behind when the workers collected the grain. Boaz soon noticed Ruth. He had heard about what she had done for Naomi. He admired her courage and her loyalty, and he also fancied her. And that's why the next day he told his workers that they should leave a bit more barley behind on purpose. Now Ruth would have more to take home with her. Ruth was delighted and when she told Naomi what had happened and when she showed Naomi all the barley she'd found, Naomi asked her who the field belonged to. A man named Boaz, said Ruth. And now Naomi was delighted too, because Boaz was one of her relatives. And in a flash, Naomi turned from mother-in-law to matchmaker. Put on your best dress, she told Ruth, and a little perfume too. You're going to visit Boaz tonight. And so Ruth did. And Boaz liked her so much, he immediately arranged to marry her. Ruth was delighted, and Naomi was too, for God had rewarded Ruth's loyalty and had given her both a husband and a home. And what's more, Ruth gave birth to a son whose name was Obed, and Obed's son was Jesse, and one of Jesse's sons was a shepherd boy named David who ran into a giant one day, but that's another story. Now, Ruth could have taken the easy way out and left Naomi to travel alone, but instead she did the right thing and went with her to Bethlehem. It must have been very difficult arriving there. No home, no food, no money, and I'm so glad that Boaz agreed to look after them, aren't you? We all need looking after sometimes, whether we're grown up like Naomi and Ruth or children like you. Close your eyes and think of someone who looks after you. Now I'm going to say a prayer. And if you want to make it your prayer, say Amen at the end after me. Dear God, thank you that Boaz looked after Naomi and Ruth when they needed help. Show us how we can help people who have no home or food or money. Amen.